the eighth inning. Johnny Briggs has reached with an error and grounded out and lined out. Jenkins has been in there all the way for the Cubs and his pitch is outside. Jenkins has given up eight hits. Ball two. He hasn't walked a man. There's a strike. He has struck out six. Kurt, apparently Ferguson Jenkins has passed the word along to manager Leo DeRoche. He may be losing just a little bit because he's got two pitchers warming up down there. A 2-1 pitch to him. Through everybody. 3-1. and one. Regan, the right-hander. Rich Nye, the left-hander. Don Money will be on deck and then Stone. And that's the first man that Jenkins has walked. The second one, let's check that. He's walked two. Don Money is grounded out, struck out, and grounded out. It's hot here. The seat to start taking its toll. Even though Jenkins is usually a game finisher. Don Money batting 244. Pops it off the bat handle back out of play. No balls, one strike. In there for strike two. The money. Phillies are now warming up Grant Jackson, a left-hander. Throw to first, back of Briggs. This boy at the bat, Don Money, was acquired from the Pirates with pitchers Woody Fryman, Bill Axon, and Harold Slam in a trade for Jim Bunning after the 67 season. Grant Jackson warming up. One and two to Don Money. Foul again. Jenkins looks like he's a little bit higher this inning, Kurt, than he was in earlier in the ballgame. Even with that slider, that curveball of his, he's coming inside once in a while. It's a sign that maybe he's tiring and his legs are a little weak. Foul again by Money. Not quite bending over enough, getting down and getting that good push off. That right foot off that rubber. There's a pop foul. Hunley waiting for it. One away. That brings up Ron Stone, who has struck out single and bounced to the pitcher. Jenkins is rough in this ballpark. He has led the National League pitchers in victories at home the last two years. He won uh, 15 and lost 5 here in 67 at Wrigley Field. Last year he won 13 and lost 7. This year he's won 5 and lost 4 at home, and he's won 6 and lost 2 in the road. So he's been better in the road than at home this year. He won 20 last year and lost 15, and 5 of those losses were by 1 to nothing scores. 1-0 pitch. Ball two. 2-0. Two oh. We have our first final score and the Yankees beat Washington 3-1. to one. Burbach the winner and Bosman the loser. 2-1 around Stone. The Cubs are leading the Phillies 7-4 in the eighth inning. late innings, the pitcher starts getting behind, and when he starts walking, that's usually a tip-off to a manager that he's starting to lose it. 
Now Ron Sano wants to talk to him, and so does Randy Hundley. Neil DeRocher signaling his infielders to get out to the mound to give Ferguson Jenkins a little bit of a break. Give him a little bit of a rest here. Tell him to get on top of those pitches, bend those legs in that back. Get the ball down low in the strike zone. This is the type of park, Kurt, with the short dimensions all over that. You want to be especially sure, certain, that you keep the ball down low. Always got the chance for the double play. You get the ball in the area with the wind usually blowing out. The balls jump out of this park. Fires the fastball through. Three and two to Ron Stone. One out. Johnny Briggs at first. There's a base hit to right. Hickman's gone in the game in right field, comes up with it, fires to second. The Phillies have runners on first and second, one away. And DeRocher's coming out now to talk to Jenkins. Jenkins, the type of pitcher we talked to Leo before the ball game uh, about him. He's the stopper on this staff. And you go along a little bit farther with a pitcher of Jenkins' caliber than you would with most. Especially when just the day before your bullpen collapsed on you. Kurt, yesterday, Aguirre, and as we mentioned, and of course, Regan. They couldn't get anybody out. Abernathy had some difficulties, too. So he'd like to go with Jenkins if Jenkins says, I can still throw the ball. And he's going to switch. He's asking for Regan. The rusher decided on his hot day. Jenkins is tired, and he's going to remove him. So there's a break in the action here at Wrigley Field, Chicago. The score... The Chicago Cubs 7 and the Philadelphia Phillies 4. 